Pathfinder, I'm Dirk Barrett. I speak for everyone you see here. I'm glad you're hearing me out instead of shooting me in the face. I kind of prefer to shoot him in the face. It never really hurts to listen. I agree. Most of the people who live here don't, as I'm sure you've noticed. They kill anything that moves, including each other. Long-term prospects for survival? Zero. Me? I haven't lost my mind. I don't want to die. Neither do these people. That's oh. why I need your help. Okay, well, um, let's see what he needs help with. Well, I am the Pathfinder, and I'm pretty sure my job description includes help people survive in Helios. <laughs> so, guess. shoot. What do you need? First, we need to move. This shelter is small and can't be fortified. Another gang has taken over a base about 20 clicks from here. Beautiful setup they don't know how to use. Idiots taking apart the walls for scrap. If you can help us clear them out, I think we'll be good. Okay, yeah, sure. I guess I could try. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Pathfinder. Anything else you need to know, just ask. Cool. Uh, well, obviously, I want to ask all of the questions. You and your crew aren't as violent as the other scavengers here. From the start, Eladin was about how much firepower you had. Got firepower, you can take what you want. Resulted in lots of people using their guns to get bigger guns. Eventually, I had to step back and think about what I really wanted out here and how to get there. Turns out I wasn't the only one. Okay. Why did you come to Aladdin? Seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not the smartest move. Kadara bothered some people. Sloan muscling her way into Angara territory. I guess some of us wanted to start with a clean slate. Too bad I got shit on so fast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, pretty much. If you manage to get a fortified base, what then? Trade, hopefully. We know the Krogan are out here. Once we're set up, we'll try to make contact. Maybe if we're really successful, the other exiles will come around and join us. I just know that anarchy is unlikely to get us very far. We need people working towards the same goal. I like your optimism. That's the stuff we need to really make it work out here. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a romantic at heart. What can I say? I'm not stupid. I know it's not going to be painless. But, as they say, if you're going to die... Better die trying. Is that what they say? I don't know if that's what they Nothing say. Else right now. I don't think All they right say out. that. Who says that? Alright, won't keep you. Uh let's loot their container. They won't mind. Ooh, a venom. Eh, eh, eh. Gross of venom. <laughs> Can I scan you dudes? No? Alright, cool. Whatever. So, we've got the medical supplies that we want to do. Um, outside of that, we just got to kind of like hit up all these places. So let's go find us some medical supplies, which appear to be all the way the heck over there. Above normal temperatures. Thank you, Sam. Oh, like way over there. Okay, so how? I don't think going down the, the crevasse is going to help. Um, what do you miss most about the Milky Way, Vedra? Understanding how shit works. Back home, I knew the politics, the people, the places. Here, everything's new. You can't play the system when you don't know what it is. I don't know about that. The way the Nexus treated us, Krogan, seems like the system came with us. What ship is that? Certainly not Ket, so. Actually, this is the first planet that I don't think there's any Ket on to begin with. Kind of nice. This planet is nice and big. And. As you would expect with any big desert, it's got some beauty to it, but at the same time, it's big and empty. I suppose it's pretty easy to have a big empty space run really well. There's nothing in it, especially with the pop in, the awful, awful pop in of stuff. Ooh, I should take a look at some of that stuff over there. Hello, enemies that I just saw pop in. It's funny how that works. Oh, hey, gross. Oh, there's so many of them. Okay, let's charge you. Gotta get that shield back. Can I charge him? Perfect. Yeah, shoot yourself. Do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yo, what's this? There's more stuff down here. 
Hello. Dead people. That's the other dude over there. Nope, target obstructed. That's fine. Hello. Shoot you in the butt until you die. Novus would be proud. He died violently. <laughs> I like the uh, the knockback that ended up happening there. Can I scan these dudes? I just, I need more research data. That's the thing. I know I'm getting research at pretty regular intervals now that I have that upgrade. I probably should go back to the ship relatively soon to go get that stuff. But I don't know if it will be enough. Which is kind of unfortunate because I got a lot of stuff to make when I hit 50 and I am closing in. Um, you know what? Let's take a look inside here because I never went down the stairs. Uh, so far, nothing. Oh, there's a container. Nah, not worth it. Ah, definitely not worth it. But I'll break that stuff down. Crafting materials, which of course is always nice. Especially when you use as much as I do. I do want to check that out real quick. Let's go to... Uh, I don't know why I need to go to skills for that. I'm almost 47. Just... Wait, are we good? Did I look into the sun or something? <laughs> that was weird. Very, very weird. Here, you know what? That, nope, that didn't fix, that made it worse again. Okay, something, something is wrong with the desaturizing of, desaturization we go, of Remnant this area. Pillars, let's check them out. I plan on it. I just need to figure out kind of what's going on here. Very bright. Why is it so bright? Why are you gotta be so bright? Some of these pillars look newer than others. I don't think there's over anything over here, Drake. I've identified a remnant data cache in this location. Pathfinder, I've extracted data fragments from this cache. They may be valuable later. Cool. I can find data caches, but apparently locate data caches. Okay. Uh, apparently I just need to actually look around. What? I don't know. I do not know what's going on <laughs> with the graphics and the oversaturation. <sighs> Rather annoying. It's worth noting that Casey Hudson, the new manager of Bioware, general manager, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. He's, he's in charge of Bioware at the moment, which is great. He was kind of in, in charge um, at... Scourge. Might be dangerous, but we should check it out. Can I kill these guys with reflection? No, okay, he's just going to keep scanning. So, Casey Hudson was um, responsible for essentially Mass Effect 1 through 3. <laughs> Obviously, there's a huge team of people. Thank you, Sam. Sam, you get any data fragments from that? I did. They appear to be related to the first cache, but scavengers have damaged the memory. Does it want me to find more? Is he shooting? Oh, hello. Oh, I'm stuck in here. Oh crap. Oh crap. Systems are failing. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Can I? Oh crap, I got myself stuck. Oh jeez. Okay, we're good. I need to I need to find the the nomad just to jump in it for a second. Thank you. That was unfortunate. Uh, let's go back four wheel drive. Come on. I mean I'm in four wheel. What's going on here? Go f go forward. Thank you. I think there's something on the other side of this. Uh, maybe not. Oh yeah, there was loot. Okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Casey Hudson. Responsible, Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect 2, and Mass Effect the first. He did a pretty good job with those. In fact, he was responsible for other games as well, but not necessarily, I think, as much from my understanding. With that said, he had left the studio. This Okay, whatever this glitch is, it's causing everything to be way too difficult to see. He had left the studio to go work for Microsoft HoloLens or something like that for uh, a couple years. And then when Aaron Flynn, who took over um, at, at BioWare, essentially when... Sid gets me so frustrated. I try to be firm. She pushes back. I lay down the law. She pushes some more. 
See, that's your problem. Kids need boundaries, sure. But they also want to know you're not the enemy. Our dad would not have agreed with you. Your dad sounds like a piece of work. Special Ops, right? Yeah, something like that. He never went into details. Disappear. Yeah. I know the type. Sure, I'm just gonna scan this stuff because apparently there's stuff here. I mean, they were like dropping in for whatever reason. So I think Aaron Flynn took over once the doctors left. The founders of Byron. I think he took over when they left. Don't quote me on that. He took over at one point. And after Andromeda shipped, or uh, soon before it shipped, um, Watch out, Aaron traitor. Flynn left and Casey Hudson came back. So now Casey Hudson is, while he was never in charge of Bioware, now he is in charge of Bioware. And he, he came back. So, Morda's still pissed off at the Nexus. You'll want to be careful around her, kid. It's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working colony on this hellscape. Once the Krogan put their mind to something, they'll get it done. Oh, this is a Krogan spot. Okay. Um, Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. Thank you, Sam. I've added them to your nav system. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Think there's anything here at the moment? No. So I want to head off over to there. Life support is stable. Thank you, Sam. So, from my understanding, now that Casey Hudson is essentially in charge of everything, um, he's going to try to make big changes as far as uh, Anthem is concerned. Forgot the name of the game. And why that is important, because it may not seem important, but it is, is that he understands, according to, and this is why I bring this up, they, they came out with a blog post from Casey saying like, hey, here's the deal. Um, the reason that is important is because they're saying that they've learned from Andromeda. Because the outcry with Andromeda after launch was we need story DLC to figure out what the heck happened to the Koreans. Spoiler alert, don't really figure out what happened to the Koreans in this game, unfortunately. And he is kind of down about that. He, kinda, he knows that it sucks and that he, he knows that the, everything surrounded by this effect 3 sucks. And then carrying on to Andromeda. You know, Mass Effect's his baby. He wants it to be good, and it wasn't. So, as soon as I'm done killing these guys, I'll finish my point, because I actually can't think with how loud my shotgun is. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, look. So, obviously, he wants his game to be good whatever the next Mass Effect game ends up being, because they will make another Mass Effect game. But he is currently focused on making sure that Anthem learns valuable lessons from Andromeda, which is kind of what we've hoped for. And my fear, as I've mentioned in the series, was that Anthem was too far along in development. Good news is that does not seem to be the case. They're going to take their time, according to him, and make sure that they learn their lessons. Always good. Always, always good. Let's do this. Uh, is that what I was working on? I always hate this. I always forget what I was in the middle of leveling up. I believe I was leveling up offensive tech. It was. So. Uh, tech bonus damage to shields or to armor. I got plenty of armor stuff. I want to do anti-shield. And then the next one I want to get is probably tech detonator, detonator damage bonus. So we'll do that next. Confirm. Thank, ooh, now I'm, I can get the Sentinel, which I'm okay with, and the Infiltrator. And Explorer, which is what we wanted. We are now, we were Explorer 5, I believe? Or 4? And now we're Explorer 5. Okay, that's nice. Um, just minor percentage upgrades. That is totally fine. I'm okay with that. Let's go driving around. Search for memory triggers. Where we're heading levels to. Are climbing, Pathfinder. What direction is this? It's basically straight and then to the west. If that is the west. Sometimes I wonder what Sid and I'd be like if we'd had a better home life. Maybe we wouldn't have grown up to be so difficult. Difficult's good, Petra. You took what you had and made it yours. That's all any of us can hope for. If 
only you'd raised us, old man. Ha <laughs> <laughs> you would have turned out so much worse. Maybe a better shot, though. This <laughs> is pretty funny. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of iron, a little bit of copper, but... Oh, I should have kept going on the copper. For graphite? Graphite? Graphite. I'm not too worried about filling out all these zones like it was at the beginning of the game. At this point, I'm just trying to get some mining sites done, which gives me enough to craft my next bit of gear. Pathfinder, I detect broken scavenger machinery ahead. Thank you, Sam. Get both of these fight. guys. Ram. Shield up. I'm actually liking the aesthetics of this planet the more that I play it. The only problem is that whatever this weird issue is I'm having with um with the like saturation or whatever it is. I don't know. Probably should just restart my game and fix it. Or maybe not. Maybe it's meant to do that. Maybe you're meant to be blinded anytime you come out of a menu. <sighs> I, I guarantee it's a, some kind of bug. Did you kill him? I think he's dead. Oh, give me all of the scans. Is that Andromeda? Or rather, um, I think that's initiative scan tech data stuff words but I'm not entirely sure unfortunately let's go get my memory Ooh, really pretty little oasis here hello memory trigger another eidetic trigger Sam yes though my memory array remains locked additional triggers are required thank you Sam where to now? Probably hit that up. Apparently, I was going to go this way, but I guess I'm going around this way. Uh, I could get those two caches. I could get that, and I can come up and around. That's, that's another memory trigger. In fact, that's the only memory triggers on this planet, according to that. And then I can go back down around and shoot up that way if I wanted to, um, which I might do, because then I can swing around this way. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll get this and those two memory triggers. So... I actually want that hidden cache more than um, the quick travel point. Ooh, good place you ever need school. a shoulder to lean on, I can, you know, ask around. <laughs> Got a box of spares somewhere? You know it. Oh, track. Oh, I have a feeling. Oh, well, that's where it is, anyways. Never mind. There's a cache here. I have a feeling there's a data thing here, too. Cut. Is that just dark or is there a missing texture? I think it might just be dark, but it also might be a missing texture. Hello, cache. Give me. Hello, container. Shield oscillator. And all that special. But I will take what I found. Is it possible, in fact, for me to climb up this? I'm surprised that I'm doing this as easy as I am. Uh, okay, that didn't work quite so well, but... Okay, can I get back up this? Oh! Damn you, Drac. How did you get up there and I couldn't? Ugh. Okay, you know what? I do, I do want to try... No, oh, no. <laughs> Whatever. It might be up there. I doubt that it is. We're gonna go get that cash. But I need to get back to the Nomad after being blinded and then work away over. I could pick up the quick travel point on my way. I think that'll be the best idea because right here. What the heck is that thing? Oh. Oh, of course, the fiend. Just, oh, no, I'm stuck. Back up. Why? Why? Why wasn't it? <laughs> why? Why is it not wanting to teleport backwards? Hello, fiend. Okay, can we please move away? I need to jump and teleport apparently on this hill. Jump, teleport. We did it. 
and then it turns black and mushy. What's going on with the graphics in this game lately? It's not just this either. Like there's been several different moments where other things have happened. It gotten all weird and graphical weirdness. I don't know, I don't know the way to describe it. 